Mo. Fun. Zone. Womp, 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 womp. They do good games. This is Red vs. Blue Robot Clashes by Mo Fun Zone. Apparently, if you go to the Mo Fun Zone to play the game, you can get Mo Fun Zone achievements. Alright, I have played this game quite a bit, and thankfully, it has saved all of my progress. I am very happy for that. And uh, the reason why is because I don't want to show the early levels, because they are exceedingly tutorially boring. And we're going to go straight to the hard mode. Ooh, I didn't even know there was an insane mode. So, what do we do in this game? Alright, the main conceit of this game, the its claim to fame, as it were, is that you get to choose which upgrades your robots get. And you can see here, they each of these guys has a different type of helmet, and their guns have these different colors. Each of the different helmets is a different type of armor. Each of the different gun colors is a different type of gun. You can combine a gun and an armor uh, for each robot you have. Well, it, we'll get to that in just a sec. Alright, then you also have these talents. You'll notice that I have maxed out my offensive <laughs> talent tree. I always love to max out offense before defense because it just seems to work better that way in every game I've ever played. So... Here you get things like assassins get a head, their heads explode when they die. Um, sniper range shoots for uh, your sniper rifle shoots farther. All the damage, all your robots' damage goes up. You get a special armor. Here, spray guns get a grenade. Freeze guns freeze more often. Um, your acid gun, when you kill someone with an acid gun, they explode into an acid explosion. And you spawn a rocket launcher weapon every so often. Here you uh, increase the armor of your base, because you're defending a base. Here increases the number of shots. Your base has a big old gun on it, but it can only shoot so many times. Here increases the armor of all your robots, and this one gives you an uncontrollable rocket salve. So I obviously went for uh, this, and given the fact that assassins and sniper rifles and damage have been upgraded, I definitely focus on assassins and sniper rifles and damage. So this is the way it goes. This game, I mean, it's going to be weird anyway. Every single time it says welcome soldier and it's so pointless. The alien signal has led us to this forgotten old planet. Once known as the fire prison, it just became an a old rotten planet. We found an abandoned outpost. Make it quick so we can move on. Yes, sir. In Soviet Russia, robot fights you. No. So, here we go. Your robots spawn out of this machine over in the corner. See how they just kind of drop down and then run over. And they fight the enemy robots, and uh, you can't really scroll back and forth. If you're over one of your equipment majigs, like up here, where I have my special armor that's one of my talents that spawns, it brings you over here. Oh, how to explain this game. Okay, so then also... You have your resources build up. There's this energy resource and this kills resource. I'm going to go ahead and buy the assassin armor and the sniper rifle. And now I come over here, I drop the assassin armor and the sniper rifle. This guy picked him up, and now he is my sniper rifle assassin. Why is this special? Okay, so... Here's, like, armor 1. It gives you a low level of armor, and you can notice that it spawns every 28 seconds to start. That's what that 28 means at the top. Uh, not at the top, but down in the list. And, uh, so you have armor level 1, which is low armor, armor number level 2, which is medium armor, armor level 3, which is high, assassin, which is actually no armor at all, but it increases your damage, and then captain, which is high armor and a damage boost. Then you have weapons. The spray gun, medium range, medium damage. Shotgun, low range, high damage. Drop both of those real quick. Ah, let's grab a, an acid gun and make a special acid gun guy. Now you notice I delayed just a little bit there to let that one guy run under. Otherwise, the upgrade falls on his head and he picks up the weapon without also grabbing the armor. That makes me angry. Upgrade these. Okay, so the sniper rifle, obviously high range and high damage. The acid gun, medium range, but it ignores enemy armor. And the freeze gun, medium range, and it has a chance of freezing a robot. And I believe a freeze is an instant kill, but I'm not sure. 
And the biggest problem with this game, first of all, it's really fun, and I'm actually going to win here in just a moment because of my special armor. It makes my guy not invincible. He can die. There, he just died right there. Bonk, bonk. And there's another assassin. Um, the biggest problem with this game is the fact that you have to... It's such a long time to wait. See, uh, the, the lowest one starts off at almost 30 seconds each. The high level ones are 45 seconds each to start, and they cost so much to upgrade. Your energy here builds up over time automatically, and the higher your level, and notice I'm level 11, the faster that energy builds. This, however, is kills. You have to kill enemy units to get there. Some of the upgrades, like an Assassin level 4, I believe it is, costs 240 kills. It takes a while to build up there. Each time you upgrade a particular um, a particular upgrade, particular piece of equipment, it comes out faster than before. So you, you noticed maybe that this uh, the numbers there it said like 28, 25, 24, something like that. Each time you upgrade it, the the time till it spawns is faster. But since you always want to spawn an armor and a weapon at the same time. You have to worry about upgrading the armor and weapon that you want together at the same time. Unless you want to be totally haphazard about it. But I like creating little sets. I love to have the assassin with the sniper rifle because the fact that he has no armor doesn't matter. He's standing all the way in the back with a, an extended range sniper rifle because I have the extended range sniper talent. And he deals extra damage because he's a, an assassin. And he deals extra damage because I have the extra damage talent. Well, let's just go into the talent. See, he deals extra damage automatically. And his sniper rifle makes him shoot further. And when they finally do chew through my frontline minions and get to my assassin, his head explodes and, and damages them again. That's why I love this set. Unfortunately, it never tells me what the special unit armor is. I'm assuming it's better than Captain's armor. And then I always give him the acid gun, because the acid gun ignores the enemy armor, so my guy's really um, defensive and also has this really awesome gun. When I finally get some more talent points, I plan to start on my weapons. I have never had an enemy even approach my base, so I have not used the defensive ones yet. I also have an issue with the fact that if you close out of the talents, the talents button disappears. Alright, next level. And we'll continue, I'll show you another level. Have you build some assassin sniper? As uh, by the way, yeah, assassin. In, in, throughout this entire game, assassin is spelled with three S's instead of four. Well, they are pretty effective. Build some of them and try to get a killing streak. So we need to create four assassin snipers and get a killing streak of five. You cannot defeat your opponent when you have uh, a goal that isn't defeat your opponent. So the only way I can win this level is to create four assassin snipers and then get a killing streak of five. Alright, some other uh, combos here. First of all, armor one and spray gun makes just a real low level guy, but they're very cheap to buy, which I'll do right now. And in addition to being uh, very cheap to buy, they also spawn the fastest, so you can get them back uh, again and again and again. So here I gotta wait till I get 20 energy and 40 kills. Another good combo that I like, and unfortunately they don't spawn at the same time, I love Armor 3 and Shotgun. Because it gives you the best armor, plus a very high damage, close range weapon. And so the guy tanks in front for you. I don't know what a killing streak is. I think one guy has to kill a bunch of guys in a row. I don't know. They're kind of vague. There's a bunch of uh, terms in this this game that are not defined anywhere that I can find. Oh, I'm, I'm not even paying attention to my upgrades over here. I have my special armor ready, but before that, I want to get uh, my assassin sniper. Come on, kill some people. You know what? Just give someone special armor. It'll probably make them a little bit more robust, and I won't have to worry about uh, a bunch of guys dying. These big guys in the back are called Juggernauts. After you reach a certain level, you unlock them automatically. So, they'll spawn, and they're, of course, you know, bigger and beefier and do plenty of damage, but you don't actually have to click any buttons for them. And that's that big base gun. And notice, see how it has this double dash? That means that this base gun will never run out of uh, ammo. And that is why you cannot beat the 
uh, opponent when there's no beat the opponent thing. You know, I might actually be able to beat the opponent. My s assassin sniper, assassins because and the snipers, because they have such long range, they can actually hit. You see how the, the points are going down from here? That's cool. They can hit the guy from this far away. And there is a possibility of defeating this, uh, as it appears right now. All right, let's upgrade. Let's get one more. Oh, no! You! I wish it, I could stay on one guy. Unfortunately, I can only go all the way over here or all the way over here. This guy right here, he has a sniper, uh, an assassin helmet, but he didn't get the sniper rifle. That makes me angry. I hate it when they pick up one without the other. There's that, there's that. Get those going a little bit faster. Put down the special armor. And there's a freeze gun. That's what happens when you get frozen. I guess it doesn't automatically kill you, but it certainly stops you from attacking. And like I said, this game, it's boring when once you get into it like this, because now you have to worry about um, just waiting. There's one level, and uh, you had to freeze eight enemies. The freeze gun does not automatically freeze people. It is a chance to freeze people. And that means that you can end up sitting there waiting for a long time for it to double freeze. Let's just upgrade these. There we go. I have to get 45-45 anyway, so to, if I have this overabundance of one over the other, I can go ahead and spend it. It's not going to be an issue. And like I said, these first two, they go really quickly. And assassin, sniper rifle... No, that wasn't the sniper. Dang it, assassin. Uh, now I'm upset. Alright, well... Let's do... Acid gun. Special armor acid gun. Beat people up. I've got all my killing streaks. I just need to actually create assassin uh, snipers now. And assassin, 10 seconds from assassin sniper. So yeah, I mean, there's so much to this game that's awesome. First of all, the graphics are very nice. Even though there's kind of a little bit of a pixely effect to them, and not like a good flixel type pixely effect, but a... Uh, kind of rough graphics effect. I love that. I love the idea of being able to combine upgrades. Um, I like that there's this back and forth kind of battle, but it's not so overwhelming that you feel like it's uh, cheap or that you're that you don't have a chance. In fact, I've never really had the enemy encroach upon me ever at all. Upgrade those. Uh, acid gun special. Assassin sniper. So right here, we'll win the game. Dun, 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 dun. There's those, and there's my assassin sniper. Pick them up, and suddenly the game ends. This will, for no reason at all, ex Oh, it didn't explode. Usually it just explodes for no reason. Oh, I probably should have showed that screen a little bit longer. I think we saw it before. Basically, that tells you how much health your, your guys have, um, how much energy you get per minute, and then how long it takes a juggernaut to go. And each time you beat a level, one or more of those usually upgrades by decreasing a little bit. And here I gained a talent point. Unfortunately, with one point, my choice is increase my base armor, which is useless right now because I've never been attacked. Or, I, I bought this upgrade, by the way, the spray gunner upgrade. Um, increase the freezy chance of my freeze gun, but that costs two points, so I can't afford it. I can reset all these and then buy, try different upgrades. One of my favorite things of all time, anytime you have an upgrade tree like this, there needs to be a reset button. Because sometimes I want to try out some of these uh, upgrades, but maybe I don't like them and I would like to get rid of them again. One, and I can't get that one, so let's accept. Hit next level. I'm not going to play the next level. You've seen the game. I am so tired of that energy devices right now. Too bad robots can yawn. What are you sitting around? Get that thing charged up. Oh man, so many typos. I do, however, recommend playing this game, if only for a little bit. Um, and the most unfortunate thing is you will have to suffer the early tutorial levels. They are inane. But 
so much potential. I wish, I would hope, that they can uh, fix some of this. Make it a little bit more... Make it faster paced. Make my upgrades spawn faster. Or allow me to pick an armor and a weapon and set them together as a group and then buy an upgrade as a group. And have there be, you know, more combinations. Or if not more combinations, at least let there be more viable combinations. For example, high armor plus sniper rifle, that's not really a, a combination that makes sense. But maybe have armors that give you different abilities or resistance. Like maybe there's acid automatically bypasses armor, but there's an acid armor. So you could have guys that are, you know, resistant to acid or resistant to the freeze gun or what have you. Anyway, this has been uh, more like a review of Robot Clashes by MoFunZone. A great looking game that unfortunately is too slow and boring. Bye bye.